Hello friends of Max. My name is Ravi Padmanavar. I'm a customer success architect at MuleSoft. And today we're going to discuss about how to improve the login security of any point platform using multi-factor authentication. So let's get started. On one hand, we are living through unprecedented times of COVID-19 crisis. And on other hand, the digital transformation phenomena. In both the cases, organizations are forced to respond rapidly to an entirely new set of business challenges. On top of that, organizations are facing immense security challenges during all digital work from anywhere times. Protecting account access is very critical. Let's look at some of the numbers to understand why. An average enterprise consists of 900 plus applications and systems, most of which are secured via login credentials. More than 81% of the data breaches that happen across the world are due to the compromised login credentials. Attacks such as those on Target in 2013, Equifax in 2017, and Colonial Pipeline as recent as May 2021 could have been easily prevented with multiple layer of login security. Also, let's acknowledge the fact that majority of the users are guilty at some point of time of setting up a weak or used password or not taking additional measures to secure the accounts, thereby putting our data and enterprise at great risk. So the intriguing question is, how can we improve the AnyPoint platform security? Wikipedia defines multi-factor authentication as an electronic authentication method in which a user is granted access to a website or application only after successfully presenting two or more pieces of evidence. At MuleSoft, we take production of customers' data very seriously. Security is at the epicenter of every product and solution that we built and not just an afterthought. Multi-factor authentication is now the integral part of any point platform login security. It allows to secure accounts at login in layers through additional verification methods. Use of authentication apps, security keys, or biometric authentication as a verification method helps to balance security and user convenience. It is one of the simplest and most effective way to protect your customer and business critical data. MFA is an out-of-the-box security feature available to all of our customers at no additional cost. Think of it as a combination of one, something that you already know, such as login credentials, which by the way rarely changes, and two, something that you have, such an authenticator app or a security key, which generates random code and which changes frequently, thus making it highly unlikely for attackers to gain access to your account. The question is not whether one should implement a MFA, but rather how soon one should embrace to safeguard your entire integration infrastructure. With that, let's look at some of the most important upcoming releases and features related to multi-factor authentication. The MFA was first released by MuleSoft in November 2020 as an opt-in feature. Starting August 2021, the users will be prompted to use MFA. By late August 2021, all new organizations created and the users invited will be automatically MFA enabled. In the first half of 2022, any new user added to existing organization will be auto enabled for MFA. And by the end of 2022, all platform users will be enabled for MFA. In 2023 timeframe, multi-factor authentication will be a mandatory feature in any point platform for all of the users. Let's quickly understand the different ways to set up users to access any point platform and identify who is responsible for setting up MFA. Access to any point platform is provided via either the login credentials, that is username and password maintained by any point platform, or via a single sign-on. The party responsible for implementing MFA differs based upon the login method. For non-SSO users, turn on MFA directly in the AnyPoint platform itself. And for SSO users, use SSO provider's MFA service to turn it on. Note, 
that the rest of the video focuses on how to enable MFA for non-SSO users of AnyPoint platform. Launching MFA is a two-step process. First, org admin will turn on MFA for the entire organization. Once turned on, the users will not be able to log into AnyPoint platform until they configure MFA. And second, users will then have to obtain and set up at least one verification method. Let's see how org admin can enable the MFA for the entire organization. Log into the AnyPoint platform with org admin permissions and click access management. From the left navigation menu, click multi-factor authentication link. Select required radio button and click on save. Bingo, MFA is enabled. Next time, when user logs into AnyPoint platform, they are prompted to configure the verification method if it's not already configured. Let's see how a user can obtain and register a verification method. User must register at least one verification method. Step one is to obtain a verification method such as the authenticator app, which the user must then download and install on their devices. And step two is to then register this method. Note that registration process is automatically initiated upon login and it guides user at every step. Thereafter, every time user logs in with a username and a password, they are prompted to provide additional verification. Let's look at the different verification method that the organization can choose from. You can configure Salesforce Authenticator app or third-party authenticator apps such as Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, or Authy. These apps generate time-based one-time password that user needs to provide when logging into any point platform. Another option is to register a USB security key such as YubiKey or Titan security key. Please note that this is a physical device and need to be procured by the organization. You can also use a built-in biometrics authenticator such as a Windows Hello or Touch ID. Note that Mulesoft doesn't support email, SMS or phone-based verification methods as they can be easily compromised or intercepted. In the next section, we learn on how to exempt certain accounts from setting up MFA. Before we see how to accept an account, let's try to understand the different types of accounts and which one qualify for exemption. User accounts are login accounts created for the individual users, such as architects, leads, developer, tester, etc., who log into the AnyPoint platform website to build APIs and integration. While service accounts are created for the purpose of providing access to the external systems or applications, such as CICD tools, mules of metrics access trap, bots, etc. to provide access to the AnyPoint platform programmatically. MFA should only be enabled for user accounts and not for service account. Before enabling MFA organization-wide, identify all such service accounts and replace them with a connected app to avoid any service disruption. Connected apps is a feature available in the access management to authorize apps to make programmatic calls to any point platform. For more detail, watch Friends of Max video on connected apps. But in the meantime, you can easily exempt these service accounts from MFA requirement while enabling the rest of the organization. Let's see how. Log into the AnyPoint platform with org admin permissions and click access management. From left navigation menu, click multi-factor auth. Search and add the service account that you want to exempt and click on save. That's it. The service account is exempt from MFA while rest of the user accounts are still MFA enabled. The org admin can manage and monitor the users of the organization. Users module also displays information about users, those are MFA enabled, users that are invited to set up MFA, and the users that are exempt from MFA. Org admins can easily determine the progress of MFA adoption via users module and drive them towards improved security goal. As mentioned earlier, security is at the core of every product and solutions that MuleSoft offers, and AnyPoint Studio is no different. AnyPoint Studio ID now seamlessly integrates with AnyPoint platform account 
secured using MFA so that you can build, consume and publish reusable assets such as API specs, examples, templates and connectors. Go to Preferences, Anypoint Platform, Authentication menu on our IDE and add the login account as shown in the first screenshot. In case you are facing any issues, try changing the default browser from built into native to make it work. And that's it. Let's quickly recap. Today we learned about what multi-factor authentication is, how it significantly improves the login security of an Anypoint platform, and how easy it is to set it up across an organization with few click of button. If you have any further question, please visit docs.mulesoft.com or reach out to your Mulesoft team. Thanks a lot for watching Friends of Max video. See you next time.